Caboodle fans, here are some of the characters from the Madrigal family. Let's find out more about them in this giant activity book. Louisa and her donkey. All right, let's see what's inside of here. Whoa, looks like there's tons and tons of stickers. And we can use these to complete the scene. We have the beautiful Madrigal house. Let's see if we've got the entire Madrigal family. We're gonna start with Grandma Alma. She runs the family. I'm gonna put her right to the side right here. Next, let's find the three triplets that Alma had. First triplet is Julieta. Bruno. Peppa. Julieta heals with her food. Peppa controls the weather. And Bruno sees things. Now let's see if we have their spouses. Nice. Peppa is married to Felix. Julieta, Mirabel's dad, is Augustine. Let's go ahead and put him on here too. He's going to be kind of like in the background right here. And same with Felix. Now let's add the kids. We've got Mirabel. Let's do this one of her jumping. Louisa and the donkey and Isabella and the flowers. Okay, Mirabel's gonna be jumping up in the air. Louisa's gonna be with the donkey right here. And Isabella and the flowers. Let's see, we'll put Dolores right here. Milo's gonna be right there. And of course, Antonio. We could also put a ton of butterflies and animals. So they've got coloring pages in here too. Let's find some really awesome activity pages though. Word search with Dolores. I've got my brilliant brushes. I love these, there's so many colors. I'm gonna use a yellow so we can see it. Let's start with Antonio. It is right here. Here. All right, we've got that one. Oh, I see Louisa. She's going up and down. Uh, oh, there's a Madrigal word right here. Dolores. Wow, I wonder if they're all going to be going up and down. This one is going horizontal. Mirabel. Now, where is Isabella's? I found hers, it's going diagonal. We have them all. We've got Sudoku, let's do spot the difference. We've got Julieta in the kitchen. Picture A and picture B. I'm gonna give you some time to spot the five differences. Minutes up, let's find a really awesome marker. So right away, her apron ribbon right here is darker. So that's difference number one. I see the pan is missing on the hook right here. That's two. This bowl is missing the design. That's three. Her apron is also missing the design at the very top right here. That's four. And another design on her apron that's missing right over here. That is five. Did you all get them? Okay, let's keep turning. Weather report. Mirabel's aunt Peppa can change the weather. We're gonna use the key to find out the weather for today. Look at all these beautiful flowers. I'm gonna use orange for Peppa. So the first one looks like it's a butterfly. What letter has the butterfly? It's this one right here. So our first letter is S. Let's see if there's any more butterflies. Oh, there's another one right here. We've got two S's. Let's find this flower since there's two of those. Looks like it's O. So we're gonna put O on both of these. And I think the rest are different. So let's go ahead and find this flower, which is N. Can we make out the word yet? Snow, maybe something? Okay, what is this flower right here? Looks like, oh, that one's going the opposite direction. So W and let's do this one. Looks like that's M. Can we figure out the word yet? It's snow. I bet it's a storm maybe. Let's do the leaf, which is T. And this beautiful, unique flower is R. We were right, snowstorm. I wanna see that. Antonio has the pyramid puzzles. We have to find the missing number in each of these boxes. So we've got to add these two right up above this box right here. So one plus two is what? Three. Three plus one is four. This one is missing. Okay, let's do this one. Two plus what equals three? One, two plus one is three. 
One plus three is four. Okay, we've got this row. Now let's do these. Four plus three is seven. Four plus four is eight. Three plus four is seven again. Ooh, we're getting to the big numbers now. Eight plus seven is 15. Eight plus seven is 15. 15 plus 15 is 30. I've actually never done this activity before. How fun. Let's keep going. Louisa has the missing letter. We have to find which letter of the alphabet is missing in each of these boxes. And then a name is gonna be revealed. The hint is she's super strong. Let's see, A, B, C, D, uh, where's E? E, F, G, H, I, J, L. First letter that's missing is L. Let's do the same with all of these. All right, Caboodle fans, it's Louisa. Hidden name? We're supposed to circle every third letter to find out the name of Mirabel's grandmother. Wait a minute, this is longer than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, every third letter. So we've got M-A-A, -A. this is the third letter right here. So they give us the first clue. Let's keep going. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna put them in these boxes right here. So we have got A, B, U, E, L, A. Abuela, which means grandmother in Spanish. Then we have A, L, M, A, which smells Alma, Abuela Alma. That's the grandmother. Okay, let's keep going. Missing pieces. Parts of this picture are missing. So we've got three different areas right here. All right, which circle fits in these three spots? Let's see, we've got half of Mirabelle's head, which it could be this one or this one, but we don't need the cup. So A is right here. Now, Julieta is handing a plate of food. Let's see, it could be any of these three, but this circle shows her hand, which is missing right here. So this one is D. This circle can be tricky. We have a little bit of the bread, the bowls, two of the bowls. Let's see if we can find them. I think it's this one right here because we have all of them. So this one is H. Let's keep turning. Madrigal maze. We have to find the right way that leads Mirabel to Isabella. Let's see, I'm gonna choose this light purple. All right, this one looks challenging. Here is the start. Okay, I'm gonna go down. Let's see if this will lead us in the right direction. This might be easier than I thought. No! Okay, maybe going up. Yes. Oh, wow. I got it almost on the first try. Let's keep going. Here's a crossword. Let's do the word maker. Now, how many words can we make using the letters in Mirabel Madrigal? Oh, this is a challenge. Here we go. I'm gonna start with bear. B-E-A-R. Oh, I've got another one. Game, G-A-M-E. So let's go ahead and write that in. We also have M-A-L-L, -L, which is mall. The last one is gonna be bird. Which one is your favorite word that we came up with? Mine is either gimme or llama. I also like grandma. Slimy algae. Okay, let's keep turning. Oh, you can draw Chispy, so cute. How many hummingbirds? We get to count how many hummingbirds are on this page. Don't include the butterflies though. I'm gonna give you some time to count. See if we come up with the same number. All right, I have counted up the hummingbirds. There are, I counted 32 hummingbirds. Did you get that number? Let's see what other fun pages there are. A hidden word. There is a eight letter word hidden in the picture of Isabella. Let's find all of the letters and then unscramble the word. We've got U, I'm just gonna put it down here. Uh, let's see, an E. An R, there's an F, there's an O, 
a P, L, and W. L and W. Let's see if there's any other letters that I missed here. So here are the letters that we found in this picture. Now let's unscramble them to fit them in a word. Let's see, can't be flowers, because there's a P right here. I think I know what it is. We powerful. We're gonna do one more page. I think it's the last one here. Family Finder. We've got to follow these instructions to see who Mirabel is looking for. And look at all of the family members. We've got Abuela, Bruno, Agustin, Julieta, Isabella, Dolores, and Camilo. Let's see, number one, move two spaces to the right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So one, two, move three spaces down. One, two, three. Move two spaces right. One, two. Move three spaces up. One, two, three. We ended up at Abuela Square. So the answer is Alma, Abuela Alma. All right, that's it. This page has all of our answers. Caboodle fans, that was so much fun. Did you all learn something new about the Madrigal family? I hope you did. Have a fabulous day and of course, stay sweet.